Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by Senator Jeff Merkley at his office in Washington. Senator, thank you for taking the time today. You're welcome. It's so good to be with you. So the first ever Senate hearing on the Equality Act, which would ban discrimination against LGBTQ Americans, uh, took place earlier today. You authored the bill and reintroduced it to several Congresses, but it's never gotten Senate action. What's going through your mind right now? I imagine you're excited. Well, I'm delighted that we now have a majority that believes in ending discrimination and it has created the opportunity for a hearing, and we hope that will lead to the ability to have the bill on the floor. I think most Americans are shocked to find out in 29 states it's still absolutely legal to discriminate, to throw people out of restaurants, uh, throw them out of their rental house, prevent them from doing financial contracts, prevent them from serving on jury just because of who they are or, or whom they love. This discrimination uh, needs to end. You're formally introducing the For the People Act today. Why is this bill so important to you? Yes, two really big bills in a single day. And this act is about defending our democracy. It's been assaulted uh, by three corrupting forces, dark money in elections, polluting campaigns, uh, voter suppression strategies to keep people from voting, and gerrymandering, uh, which violates the principle of equal representation and has politicians choosing their voters rather than the other way around. So this bill takes those on uh, to restore really the power of the people through the ballot box, the, the pulsating heart of our republic. I'm curious, do you feel safe in the U.S. Capitol? And if so, how long do you think the security measures currently in place will stay? Oh, I, yes, I, I, do, I do feel safe. I think that there's been uh, almost a daily uh, reevaluation of what needs to be there. We're, we're hoping that we can make sure that the Capitol is, is safe, both from mobs or from uh, foreign terrorist groups, at the same time giving full ability for Americans to come here uh, to see the Capitol in its glory, not see fences, and be able to uh, walk right in and, and uh, meet with their representatives. We've had one of the most open capitals in the world. It's really been a, a symbol of open democracy, and we need to get back there with, with a lot of additional security measures uh, in place. Senator, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Senator Jeff Merkley at his office in Washington. Senator, thank you again for taking the time. You bet. The Washington Post issued a correction to its story regarding then-President Trump's call with a Georgia elections official. The paper says it misquoted Trump's comments on the call based on information provided by a source. Trump did not tell the investigator to, quote, find the fraud. Instead, the official, he asked the official to look at ballots in Fulton County, Georgia, saying the state would find, quote, dishonesty there. Do you still feel this was a, quote, immoral attempt to manipulate the election? Yes, I certainly do. Uh, he, he called up the Secretary of State, and I, I listened to uh, and looked at the uh, transcript of this. Uh, so apart from any one phrase being, being put forward, he re repeatedly asserted uh, that uh, he wanted the Secretary of State to uh, go out there and find some strategy uh, in which the vote would come out differently. And it was, it was really high level uh, uh, pressure. And when the Secretary of State uh, pushed back against some of the false theories the president was announcing, the president said, well, uh, he knew he was right because uh, uh, Trump media had told him so. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of the echo chamber. Uh, unfortunately, those close to the president didn't manage to uh, put uh, the right facts before him. You're asking President Biden to use his authority to cancel up to $50,000 in student loan debt for federal student loan borrowers. I believe he's indicated he prefers a smaller number. How does this end? Yeah, the president said he's open to uh, perhaps uh, $10,000, which would be a huge impact on Americans across this country. Realize that other developed countries do not burden their children with such massive debt. It really uh, discourages people from getting the education to pursue their dreams. That hurts not only the individuals, but it hurts our whole society because the best educated uh, com communities in the world are going to be the most successful uh, down, down the road. So we all have a stake in uh, lowering the, the, the big obstacle now in place. You know, when I came out of high school, we didn't have this problem with student debt uh, because if you worked a minimum wage job for a summer, you could pay tuition for the following year. That's certainly not the case today. Senator, I know we have just about 30 seconds left. I know climate change, combating it is important to you. Are you satisfied with the president's actions thus far? The president has really uh, jumped in in a very strong way to take on the, the challenge of converting to renewable energy. Uh, and I hope that we can do a lot in legislation to back him up as well. But I, I give him uh, four out of four stars for his first couple months in this effort.
Senator Jeff Merkley, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.